Hey everyone, this is Tony Day. This is another Tony Responds, where I respond to a question from the Patreon community. And this one is coming from Ray, and he is asking a general question about cutting the cord from Adobe, uh, specifically Lightroom and Photoshop. He's a hybrid shooter and just wants to know if it's worth it to try out some different programs. Uh, I would say it's definitely uh, worth it to try things out, do a trial run of any programs that you're interested in. Keep in mind that the more you use them, the more used to the way that those programs work, you're going to feel. You will, you will essentially adapt to how it controls. Uh, what I see a lot of times when people go from one program to another is that they assume that they all work the same way. They don't, and you need to give yourself time to acclimate to whatever that new uh, program is. Uh, some programs use more, uh, there's a lot of like AI being thrown around and some stuff like that. Those are gonna operate in a different way. They're clearly made to make it easier uh, for people to get the results that they want, do things like sky replacements and all that kind of stuff. And then there's some uh, programs that are more manual labor intensive that you're going to be expected to do more uh, work for them. I can tell you that with Adobe products, the good thing about them is that there's a lot of software that's kind of in their whole uh, ecosystem. So they have this whole infrastructure set up for using Adobe to do everything from, from the beginning to end in your uh, post-production pipeline. Uh, if you're a hybrid shooter, especially if you're shooting like photos that you eventually want to include in a video of some kind or whatever it is, Adobe's going to have all these products that all kind of integrate together, which is really, really nice for a lot of people. Personally, I don't like After Effects. Personally, I don't like Lightroom. Personally, I don't like Photoshop that much. There's a lot of things about it that I just simply don't like. Um, there's other things that I do like about things like Photoshop um, uh, and Lightroom, but there are other programs that I like much better. So for example, uh, my alternative to Lightroom and Photoshop is Capture One. I do everything in Capture One and I have the subscription so that I get all the updates uh, every, you know, however many months it takes for them to make a new update, to improve things, add new tools and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can buy a standalone version of it, but uh, I continue with the subscription because I think it's a really good piece of software. And if I get a new camera, I want to make sure that my uh, software is going to be up to date for, for uh, optimizing it and making sure I have all the new tools that are going to be available. So um, that's what I use. And there's a lot of things that I like about it that are, in, in my view, so much better than Lightroom. Uh, one of the things is the Pro Color Profile. With every camera that you put into it, they, they pretty much all transform the colors to look the same way. So you don't have to worry about um, looks that kind of come out of Lightroom as being um, kind of a representation of the manufacturer profiles. Instead, it's just a general uh, profile that looks really, really good and you can manipulate it however you want and save out all of those different presets uh, to use in later versions. Of course, uh, Lightroom has some stuff like that, but I just found the functionality and the uh, overall general uh, processing and the overall general look that's provided through the Pro Color um, to look so much better. Another good thing about something like Capture One is that the way that the layers work and the masking works, I prefer much uh, better to uh, Lightroom. In Lightroom, I remember having difficulty knowing which masks were what and being able to pull the opacity and doing all kinds of different fixes to them because uh, it was just clunkier. It didn't have as robust of a management system on that as Capture One does. With Photoshop, it's kind of harder to replace in my opinion because there's so many things that Photoshop does right that the things it does wrong are kind of few and far in between for, for me. Uh, I think that with Photoshop, one of the problems is the way it caches stuff. It, it can be really clunky when you're saving out files and stuff like that. Sometimes when you're using larger files, it craps out and does some weird things, and I don't know why. Um, but honestly, when it comes to anything uh, after my raw conversions, I kind of go to Photoshop every time. Um, I know that there are other programs that uh, a lot of other people prefer, to that, um, but you're gonna have to test them out and see for yourself what works best for you. I would say that for me, Lightroom, definitely easy to get rid of. There's tons of different raw conversions out there uh, that you can look at. Capture One, DxO, um, uh, even Raw Therapy, uh, uh, Dark Table. There's a bunch that you can try out depending on your system and depending on if it's, of course, available to you and if you like it, um, definitely give them a try at least to see if you prefer those kinds of, of programs. Um, for Photoshop, again, a lot harder to replace. Uh, it's just the controls that they have are 
very much what people expect out of that kind of photo manipulation software. And you can do so much with it that it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to replace. So uh, if you are looking to replace Photoshop, I would, you know, put down a list of the things that Photoshop's not doing for you and then say, okay, what, uh, what programs out there do these other things that I, that I need and cater your purchase or cater your trial runs to uh, programs that will provide you with that. If for example, you are need to do sky replacements all the time because you live in a place where the sky is always boring and uh, you can't control that, then get software that, that does that. Sometimes they can work in conjunction with Photoshop. So it, you don't have to choose one or the other. Um, so that, that I think would be really helpful. Know why it is you want to replace it and, um, what tools or what features you'd like to have and cater your trials to that. So that's it for this one. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you do have any additional questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section below. And if you find this content interesting or helpful, please consider becoming a patron and supporting the channel at patreon.com slash Tony Day. Until then, I'll see you next time.